The launch of my narrowboat, Amazing Grace, in 2002 at Foxhangers marked the culmination of my association with the Kennet and Avon Canal. I had named the boat after my mother as a celebration of her life until her passing in 2000. The excitement as Amazing Grace was pushed down the launchway was palpable. Now I had a new red boat to go with my new red car. I had previously had some fleeting forays to the waterway, mainly in the 70s, when I took these photos of the derelict waterway. The beautiful Kenny and Avon Canal stretches from Reading in the east to Bristol in the west, over 90 miles in total. Essentially rural, it also runs through villages and towns such as Devizes. It has many features, including swing bridges, aqueducts, a lift bridge, a tunnel, and probably its most celebrated item, the Cane Hill Flight of Locks at Devizes. The idyllic nature of the canal is reflected in many ways, fishing, horse-drawn boats, and rural tranquility, even Civil War reenactments at the wharf. I remember cruising for days at a time, sometimes with the stove alight and feeling as warm as toast, without a care in the world, all was well on the canal. Things have changed in the last few years, however, with poor management and lack of maintenance being reflected in overgrown banks, delays in carrying out repairs and many leaking locks. Costs for narrowboat owners have also risen well above inflation. As a boater, I decided to move on to a related alternative, but one that has lower running costs, a motorhome. So I sold my beloved boat, a big decision in my life, but looking back now, the right one. I still indulge my love of finding pastures new, but now I am able to travel large distances, yet still find peace and quiet in secluded campsites. I now know my direction for the future, but where will the Kennet and Avon Canal be heading? Will devices continue to benefit from tourists coming to see the canal, or will they stay away if it falls into disrepair and there are few boats to see? Only time will tell.